Can you all come say hi? One last time. Come on. One. One last time, Niv, and then you can go back in your blanket. And we'll hang out in this window for a little bit. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Niv is a bit antsy this morning. Where are you going, Niv? Try to walk. Niv wants to destroy my wig. That's her mission. Let me know how everything sounds. This is Niv's live debut here. Niv, you want to say hi? The HD Niv.
We have Drogon with us today. Although Niv was actually being very comfortable inside of her box, so I'm going to go actually and set her back down for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Niv. Niv's so cute. Niv, which case do you think is going to be the best case? Niv's eyeballing this one, so we're going to start with that one. But thank you so much, everybody, for meeting Niv. Let me put Niv back in her little enclo micro enclosure, and then we'll get started. All right, I've returned. Niv was sniffing everything. Yep, Brandon is a tegu. Yami yeah, says, I thought Niv was a dog, not a dragon. <laughs> and Trimpost says, did you get my tip? I did miss it. Wow, thank you so much. And Trimpost donated $50. Says, wow, and you, you and Niv look awesome, Allie. Wow, thank you so much. That is so kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Holy Zeke's is cute. That's a long tongue. Yes, Niv's tongue is very long. It's crazy how much Niv has grown in the past few months. Uh, Niv is only about nine months old. Uh, Niv can grow up to three and a half feet. Niv is a girl named after Niv Mizzet. The name was predetermined. She goes mainly by Niv for short because that, that sounds a bit more feminine, although it doesn't particularly matter. Alpha Cat says, you're one lucky girl to have hair like that. Nope, just the wig, just the wig. But I actually do like the way this looks. I hate wearing wigs, though. It gives me a headache. And D Hill asks if she's ever bitten me. She hasn't bitten me before. When she's hungry, she gets a little bit nippy. Um, so sometimes, you know, if you don't want to hand feed, always want to use tongs. But but thank you so much, Trimpos, for that. Let me grab a sip of water, then just for safe practices, just, you know, that way we're all good. Go ahead, wash my hands, and then we'll get started. Captain Canada says the mat came alive. Yes, Niv. It was hanging out with us. All right, everyone, let me go wash my hands. I'll be right back with case number 105. We are opening up five cases today, so I do want to jump right on into it. And then after us opening the five cases for the shop, we do have a personal case for Arnie G. So we're going to be opening up a total of six cases, so I definitely want to get started as soon as possible. Let me go take care of my hands, and I'll be right back. Hey, Bubba, welcome. Never Cold says, Yo, Ali, you look great, and it was awesome. Thank you. And Norin says, I missed it. I was getting breakfast. Oh, no, Norin, you missed Niv. No. And Matthew says, Nice Danny cosplay. Thank you. I was surprised by how nice it actually is. It was like 80 bucks on Amazon. Super, super cheap for like the whole, you know, this thing, the top, and then the bottom piece. And I was like, Wow, this actually, it feels really nice. It's a little bit small, but, but all right. What do you guys think we're going to find today? You think we'll find a sketch? Do you think we'll find Amelia Clark inscription auto? She really doesn't have much in the product. If you look at the checklist on Cardboard Connection, Rittenhouse does provide the approximations for how much of each auto. And all of her inscriptions, there's five to ten. Um, so I think she had maybe eight different kinds, so max 80 inscriptions. 
Might have some other non-inscription autographs as well, but hopefully we'll find one here. Like I said, gonna be opening up five cases for us. Then actually later this evening, that'll all get listed on our eBay store, link in the description down below. And then one personal case for Arnie. Trimpos asks, how many hits per box? Similar to that complete series, one inscription autograph, and then either an additional auto, single auto, dual auto, something like that. So two autos a box, one being an inscription at least. But I am excited to get started. Been a little while since we've had Game of Thrones here. Iron Anniversary Series 1 was highly anticipated. Hey, Joshua with the 1999 Super Chat says, always loving these breaks. Thank you so much, Joshua. Very kind of you. Really do appreciate that very, very much. But yes, it is Series 1, by the way. So there is Series 2 coming out later this year. I'm assuming there'll be more Amelia Clarks in there. Other autographs, perhaps some new signers. But we don't have any other info on that just quite yet. Except that it'll complement Series 1. So we'll notice as we go through. I realized yesterday, because I was getting all the insert drop-down drafts ready, all the insert sets are skip numbered. So mainly here in Series 1, uh, it's the odd numbers of different insert sets. There's an inflections. If you remember a couple years ago, Game of Thrones inflections came out. There's a high number set for that. That's inserts. So a lot of the inserts are in Series 1, cards number 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, so on and so forth. So I'm assuming Series 2 will have those even numbers on those inserts. So definitely really need to look out for both sets. I like the way Rittenhouse did it. I like it and I don't like it at the same time. I like that. It really does encourage you to get both, but also it's like, man... Can't even get a full insert set until Series 2 comes out. But I'm ready to get started, so let's go ahead and grab our first case. Do you have all my sleeves ready, a bunch of top loaders. And yeah, I'm excited to get started. So Niv was eyeball in this case. We'll get started with this one. Girls and Boys Toys says, great cosplay, Allie. Thank you very much. There are 10 boxes per case this time. So I'm curious to see the shape of these things. These look larger than I had anticipated. All right, I think I left Tiny Knife in the other room. So we, of course, had to unbox all 21 cases of Game of Thrones came in, as well as some, like, Pokemon tins and some other stuff. So I left Tiny Knife in the other room, so I'll use Tiniest Knife. All right, these are very wide boxes. All right, so that wasn't the easiest to look at so i'll just set that down all right so these are wider these are a good one champion shape series one trading cards iron anniversary and it looks like there's eight packs per box so like i said two autographs a little bit less packs than i anticipated but i'm very excited to go on ahead and check this on out so the print run of this product seems to be pretty large eighteen thousand. So this is number one, uh, 17,672 out of 18,000. So definitely pretty large print run. Do appreciate how Rittenhouse discloses that info. But all right, case number one, box number one. Let's jump on into it by snapping us into the corner. Keaton says, first time I'm catching one of these live. Hey, welcome, Keaton. And Nathan says, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you, Nathan. And JT Cooper is here. It says, early afternoon. Hey, welcome. And Numbers says, your hair looks nice. Thank you. I must admit, it is a wig. I'm glad it looks nice. I was having some issues with it this morning. It was very, very frizzy, but I've been trying to get it to kind of not be so frizzy. So hopefully it stays good through the rest of the stream. But okay, here we go. Box number one. So interesting box design here. Just right in the middle. So it looks like six cards per pack. And on the box it did say eight packs per box. Curious how many relics we'll find out of the five cases. Like I said, if we find any sketches. And all right, here we go. I'm very curious to see what the base design looks like. I have yet to see any of these open myself. And here we go. Pack number one. Box number one. And you can see Niv was a little bit scratchy. Niv's nails are so long. Ooh, I like the design here on these cards. We have our first autograph, Kisa Castle Hughes, with the inscription Game of Thrones. That's our first auto of the box. If I remember correctly, Kisha Castle Hughes is also Queen Apailana from Revenge of the Sith in Star Wars. So this is Obara Sand, inscription auto for our first autograph.
really liking these card designs. It looks like there's puzzles on the back too. So that would look really cool on display in a binder. Hey, Kyoji, welcome. Hey, see you later, Fallen Dragoon. Thank you for dropping by. We have an orange parallel. Number 198 of 199, card number 81. I do like the character images here on the cards. Hey, promos, welcome. That looks familiar. <laughs> We do have our first insert here, Uprising at Daznak's Pit. This is Battles 11. Battles insert set. That's what these cards look like. I like the orange highlights. This pack feels particularly heavy. We do have something metal inside. What are you? We have Tyrion Lannister. Metal card. Oh, that's cool. E1. Peter Dinklage as Tyrion Lannister. I like it. It does have the quotes on the front as well. I also appreciate that they come sleeved. That way they don't get all scratched up. Let me take it out of the sleeve so we can get a better look at it. Bright and shiny. Insert E1. Bounty Hunter says base looks very museum-esque. That might be why I like it so much. Timmy says, yo, hey Timmy, welcome. We do have the Inflections extended series set. Jon Snow learns his true ancestry. It is card number 155. So continuing the story that I'm assuming uh, came out after the Inflection set, probably Season 8 released after that set release. So most likely, if I had to guess, these cards are chronicling the episodes that occurred after. Because it is a high, uh, not necessarily a high number, but extended series, I believe it's what it's called on the checklist. Hey, Draugr, welcome. Yep, yeah, opening up New Game of Thrones. Do we have another orange parallel? It's number 37 of 199. Hey, Hockey and Metal, welcome. Do have our next autograph, Rory McCann, non-inscription auto, as Sandor Clegane. Rory McCann for our second auto, box number one. And last pack of our first box. Do have Lancel. Look at that. That's a very pretty insert. A little punch out design. This is number L43. Eugene Simon as Lancel Lannister. Trimpaw says cutout card is nice. All right, the last of our base. Ooh, that's a nice outfit. And that does it for our first box. So one thing I did not construct that it looks like I will have to do is a drop down for all the base singles. 
Chicago says, here at work, but stop by to watch Niv spew fire. Mark says, best part was Niv debuted. Did she pick the best case so far? I mean, we'll see. This is our first box of case number one. And Ken Chan with the $5 Super Chat says, for Alley of Dragons. Thank you so much, Ken. Really appreciate it. Joshua says, those laser cut cards are cool. I do really like them. I like the design. They look like wood, but they're not, of course. All right, let's grab our second box. This one here, number 15,259 of the print run. Draugr says, photos are great. Base set would be a nice collectible itself. Definitely like the base a lot. Now, I know a lot of you did not enjoy that complete series base set. I like that it had two different pieces from each episode on the card. Uh, but I know a lot of you didn't like the design. But I think this one, I feel like everybody probably likes this. Let me know if you don't like the base design in the comments. I love it. I like the character images. Jose Sanchez just subscribed. Thank you, Jose. All right, here we go. Pack number one, box number two. Interesting, this actually has Samuel's name on it. I'm wondering if perhaps that is the first Samwell card because a lot of characters have multiple cards. So I wonder if it's whatever first appearance and then the rest of the baits that follow don't have the names. That's interesting to see. Do you have another one of those inflections cards? Melisandre reaffirms Arya's destiny. There's number 167. I'm thinking that might be what it is. We have Ed Stark here, number 41. Then we have our first red. 40 of 50. It's our lowest numbered so far. Red. No, we have an inscription here. Gemma Wellen. I claim the salt throne. As Yara Greyjoy. Gemma inscription auto. Maybe I'll separate our inscriptions and non-inscription autographs. Alex says, is it my eyes or the cards big? They seem to be standard size. Warrior says, hello. Hey, Warrior, welcome. We have another inscription auto here. Mark Risman. I bet on the wrong queen. As Captain Harry Strickland. So two inscriptions in this box. Hey, Fails Tales, welcome. Chicago asks if they're puzzles on the back. Does seem like they're puzzles, from what I can tell. Looks like they display very nicely in a binder. It looks like we have another metal card here. We have Bran Stark. I remember everything. This is E11. It's our second metal card. We have Pycelle. Laser cut. AFK Arfath says, hey, Ali, big fan of the openings on YouTube. First time watching live on Twitch. Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining us. 
are opening up a total of six, five for us. A sixth case is a personal break of this new Game of Thrones set. Trimpos says, did you say there's sketch cards in the set? There are, but of course, with all Rittenhouse products, sketches are very, very hard to pull. So I'm curious if we'll find any here in our six total cases today. Hey, Kira, welcome. We have an orange. 105 out of 199. We have another battles insert. Battle of the Bastards. That is number 15. And that does it for our second box. Unfortunately, this keeps coming untied. Let's see. Eh, I'll just leave that. Jason asked if we have any boxes for sale. Yep, we do have a lot listed on our website. Uh, top link in the description will teach you about our personal breaks that we do here. And of course, we do have boxes for sale in our physical shop as well. Yep, Bunda, six cases. That's why I'm trying to move a little bit quickly. This box is number 8,536. Captain Moondoggy says, did I miss you showing off Niv? I did show off Niv at the beginning. There are some pictures on my Instagram as well. And actually on my personal channel, I'll be doing a behind the scenes. And also on NivTube, I'm gonna have a short video as well, hanging out with Niv, posing for pictures. Uh, so there will be more Niv content coming, but right now, um, right now she's resting. All right, box number three. Another inflections high number, Battle of Winterfell. 156. We have John rejoins Tormund in the Free Folk. Inflections. Now oh, that one's numbered 46 out of 75. There's a silver parallel then. That's sleeved on up. Do you have another autograph here? Harry Lloyd. Their first auto of this third box as Viserys Targaryen. Harry Lloyd autograph. JV Yanks is now following. Thank you, JV. We do have an inscription autograph here. Ellie Kendrick. Some people will always need help. As our inscription out of the box, Mira Reed. Ellie Kendrick as Mira Reed inscription. Another metal here, so there's seeming to be one per box. We have Gilly, better to live free than die a slave. That is E31. Really big fan of the metal inserts, they always look so nice. We 
We have Pondrick, Laser Cut. Number 59. Tiffany asks, any idea how big the base set is? I don't recall, Tiffany. Maybe 150 or so? It is quite large. Quite large. We have an orange. Samwell, I believe. Number 78 out of 199. Battles insert. Sack of Astapor. Number three. All right, getting on into our fourth box. I can't actually tell what number that is. Let's remove the shrink wrap and then we'll check. I like checking the box numbers. Hey, MT, welcome. This is number 10,365. George has nicest looking Game of Thrones base set so far. Definitely think the base is gorgeous. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Inflections extended set. Daenerys destroys King's Landing. Number 185. Alexander says hi. Hey, Alexander, welcome. Trim says, I love in the inscription autographs. Base sets a lot more than 99 cards. I think maybe 120 to 150, somewhere in that range. There's 45. There's 21. I know we've seen at least 112, I think. There's a gold. 7 out of 99. Brienne. Yep, there's 111. So over 100. Uh, there's two autos per box, first rule. We do have first autograph of this box, Joseph Alton as Pipar. We have Sir Jorah Mormont. There's a beast in every man, and it stirs when you put a sword in his hand. That is E19. Yeah, so it seems like one metal per box. However, it does seem to be the lar a large set. It's quite the large set. Looks like our inscription autos here. We have Sarah Dillon. Forgive me, your grace. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. As Bernadette. Inscription autograph. Bad Keith Gaming. I would think Peter Dinklage autos would be quite rare. We have pulled a Dinklage auto out of, I think, the Season 7 set. 928 asked if we broke Marvel Black Diamond. Did break that on release week. Did do a four-case opening on release week of Marvel Black Diamond. We 
We have laser cut Kyburn. Number 67. MT says that Series 2 box you opened for Sue Ann was absolutely amazing. It was. I was so happy to pull some awesome cards for Sue Ann. That dual auto and the sketch, both ridiculous. We have an orange, Melisandre. That is number 8 of 199. SP Vintage asks, Allie, do you cover the stats of thumbs up compared to thumbs down, or is it not that big of an issue because the ratio is so lopsided? Do you mean, like, do I hide dislikes? Because I know there's an option to turn them off, but I've never turned them off. They should be available on every video. Do you have Battles Insert? Raid on Craster's Keep. Is number seven. All right, getting to the halfway point of the case. Be opening up box number 3,290 now. That's our lowest number so far. These stickers are gunking up Tiniest Knife, though. Here we go. Next box, pack number one. We're actually our halfway point of our first case. So moving along pretty steadily. Pretty happy about that. So do have an orange here. Number 188. That is 194 of 199. Bubba says the randomness of the box numbers is confusing. I'd rather it be random, Bubba, because I feel like on the assembly line, they probably pack out stuff like in order. And then you want them to mix it up so you get, like, a good mix. I wouldn't want someone to get ten boxes with ten Amelia Clarks and then, you know, because it's all in sequential order. And then nobody else gets any because they're all in, like, that one pocket. Robert says, why are the Mandalorian Season 2 hobby boxes so much more than Season 1? And I think just more people are interested in it. And I think their production was also quite low. I've heard that Topps was having issues with the blaster boxes. So that those are exclusive to Target Walmart only. Some places carry blaster boxes we can't get because none of our distributors carry it but um i believe those weren't offered to any distributors that do carry retail products like that and also a lot of people did get heavily cut like we had pre-ordered like i think a total across all of our distributors 46 cases and we're getting 12. um so we do have we don't have the checklist yet it might come today at trim boss because that product's supposed to release next week so I don't know if the checklist out or not. I haven't had a look. I haven't heard that it's out for Mando 2. So I'm not sure what's in it just quite yet. Uh, we do have boxes available for pre-order. I did throw them up on the website. They've been selling very quickly. I know it's at 150, which is still a lot, but Steel City is at 225. People on eBay have them between 200 and 300. So that's like the highest we want to go is 150, which I think is what we ended up our last like case or two of series one at as they craw uh, crawled up in price, but. We actually have a couple people that bought full cases of Series 2. To have another Battles insert, Raid at the Wirewood. Number 13. And if you're just joining us here in the stream, I did mention uh, before we got into box number one, but the inserts are skip numbered. So most of these Series 1 inserts are going to be odd numbers. And then when Iron Anniversary Series 2 comes out later in the year, it should have those even numbers to make your master set. Hey, Windy City, welcome. So if you're noticing, like, why are all these inserts odd numbers? Because they are... Every other insert is in Series 1, and then the other half is in Series 2. You have another metal card. King Robert Baratheon. It's a great crime to lie to a king. It's number E13.
do have another Inflections Extended Series, Battle Plans, card number 161. We have another metal. Interesting. Is it? Wait. Is that maybe a sketch? That doesn't seem like metal. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Doesn't seem like a sketch, but what is that? T2. Huh. That's a really cool insert. Look at the texture on that thing. T2. I like the way that looks. That's cool. It's our first T insert set. Insert. Chicago asks, Allie, how many different color wigs have you worn before? I have the Black Widow, I have this one, I have the Poison, I have the Tifa, and then I have the Misty. I haven't tried it on, but I'm assuming it's fine. Um, so I have five different wigs. Oh, we do have our inscription out of the box. Ralph Einson, prove yourself. As Dagmer, Ralph Inscription Auto. George has 3D dedication card for that T insert. Thank you, George. MT says, how arbitrary is allocation? Is it based on anything? Not sure how the non-sports ones work, to be honest. Usually it's based off how much non-sport you order. We're out of that warehouse. We are the number one Star Wars customer, so I'm not sure why we got cut so low. I heard that just Tops didn't make as much as the demand was there so not sure why but upcoming star wars products like battle plans chrome galaxy and bounty hunters we also got pretty poor allocations haven't gotten our numbers yet back on chrome legacy stellar hasn't gone up for order yet although we're going to try for 10 cases on stellar um but hopefully the numbers stop being bad on non-sports as well Love opening up a lot of non-sports. Like with Mando, we're only opening up two cases for the shop. Last time we opened up seven of Series 1. It was a lot of fun. So, unfortunately, we don't get to open as much when we get cut so heavily. Same thing with, like, X-Men Metal. I think we're getting two total cases. So we should actually just be opening up an inner like we did with Marvel Ages, and then the rest will be for sale, if I had to guess. Empty asks if there's any more Series 2 Jumbo. We actually did get in another case of Jumbo. I don't want to put it on the website. MT, just for you, if there's any leftover after today, because a lot of people in store have been buying hobbies and jumbos, I'll put some more jumbos on the website if you want one. But I just I just don't like opening jumbos. There's just so much to pack up. So much base. I'm just adverse to, to jumbos. I don't know why. We have another inscription. We have Carl Davies, Atten Lannister. I really like the inscriptions where they're writing large. I like how there's so much space. We have Alton Lannister. Ah, that is Alton. What did I say, Atten? <laughs> but Carl Davies inscription. So two inscriptions in this box. Haven't seen any multi-autos yet, but... Hey, hey Jeff, welcome. And Brizzy Gaming asks, what are the autos you're looking for? Amelia Clark actually signed new autographs for this release, so that's the top auto that we're looking for. Also, on the old thumbnail... Uh, before I changed it to Niv and I, uh, there are Sophie Turner autos. Is her name legally Sophie Jonas now? Or, I don't know. Just pre-ordered Mando Season 2. How many packs in Chilling Rain Booster Box? There's one left on the site, and I actually have it up here on the shelf because I expected it to sell. I think Pokemon has 36... I think Pokemon boxes have 36 packs. I don't know why it doesn't say on the box. Uh, am I blind? I don't know. 
But I don't want to get the wrapper dust on my fingers, so. Put that back up there. But that's the last box on the site. We did sell one already. We only got two cases at a loose box uh, for our total chilling rain inventory. So just the two boxes are on the website. And that's going to be it unless we get any restocks. Tiffany says, I think she's still going by Sophie Turner for acting purposes. I just wasn't sure. I really didn't know. So thanks for that update, Tiffany. It makes sense. Makes sense. And all right. Next pack to have laser cut OSHA. And it is number 45. If you wanted to come pick it up, that would work too. We also got in some of these Strikers V tins. We have some Elite Trainer boxes, some um, blister packs, and things like that in store currently. Girls and boys toys. Just leave a note if you are coming to pick it up. That way I don't put it in the queue. But that does it for this box. I'm going to actually start moving our base behind me. I do have a five row box ready. And a trip boss asks if I'm going to open any Pokemon this weekend. Do have one box uh, for Saturday night and I'll be opening up a regular booster and an elite trainer box on Friday at trip boss. All right. And underneath that fifth box, we do have one of our carton toppers. I believe there's only two different ones. This one's number one, so it's one and three, and then series two has two and four. Go ahead and put it in a sleeve, and then stick it back in our top loader that it came in. I do appreciate that they are top loaded. I wish Rittenhouse would put them in penny sleeves first, though. All right, box number six here of case number one. This is number 1,353, so our new lowest numbered box. Don't forget, if you're watching on YouTube and you're enjoying the stream, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying the content, having a good time. So I definitely appreciate that feedback. All right, here we go. Pack number one, box number six. We do have an inscription here. Toby Sebastian. Murdered by my own cousin. Chris is now following. Thank you, Chris. As Tristan Mortel. We have laser cut Edison, number 57. New guy says, love your live streaming. Thank you, new guy. We have orange Samwell, once again, number 71 of 199. Battles insert, Battle of the Green Fork, number one. Feels like another medal in here. We have Neil Before Your King. We have Joffrey Medal, number 29. Inflections. Daenerys arrives at Winterfell. The inflections don't show up very well on camera, but they look very cool in person. There's number 151. Mm. 
Another inflections. This one looks more gold, though. Jamie and Brienne unite, then break up. This is number eight of 40. That's cool. It's our first gold inflections. Did have a silver earlier out of 75, and then the gold out of 40. Empty asked, any chance for Joffrey Yeats? Unfortunately, can't yeet any of the shop's guards empty. Boss man would not be happy with that. We have another inscription auto. Anya Bergstein, Game of Thrones. As Kinvara. Anya as Kinvara auto. So two inscriptions in that box as well. Have had a few boxes have multiple inscriptions, which I do like. But I am getting a little crowded here by these boxes, so I'm going to take the chance to move them out of the way. I'll be back with box number seven, or box number eight. Yeah, seven through, no, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, seven through ten here when I return. So hang tight, everybody. Just have to move this out of the way. And I'll be back, Get grab some more water. If you guys need water, grab some of that as well. And then I'll be back. All right, I'm back with a fresh water bottle. All right, here we go, next box. We're gonna be cracking into number 16,304. Trim Boss says, hey, Ali, have a great stream and I hope you find a sketch art. Thank you, Trim Boss. Thank you for dropping by. And even though you didn't get to stay the whole time, I hope you enjoyed your time here. Max says, fresh water as opposed to salt. That works too. I meant more so just cold, but yes. All right, do have, this might just be a regular inflections update. Brienne memorializes Jamie. 
If that one's unnumbered, that's just the actual color of the card, number 195. Max says, you don't want to be drinking salt water no matter how fresh it is. That is also true. We have another red parallel. Ooh, that looks nice and red. Number 23 of 50, card number 145. So we've had two reds out of 50 and one gold out of 99. Do have a dual auto here, Michael McElhatton and Noah Taylor. As Roos Bolton and Locke. It's our first dual auto of the case. Feels quite heavy, most likely another metal insert. We have Sansa Stark. I did what I had to do to survive. I am a Stark. I will always be a Stark. Is number E5. We have an inscription auto. Leo Woodruff. Old Gods of the Forest. Leo as Howland Reed. Tiffany asks if there's anything more than a dual auto. I don't think there are triple autos. I believe there are relic autos, though. Laser cut Gregor. We have bronze Daenerys. We're fifty eight out of one ninety nine. We have Battles Insert, Conflict in the Gift. That is number five. All right, next box here, 13,352. Joe says hi. Hi, Joe, welcome. All right, see you in a little bit, MT. All right, here we go. Pack number one, box number eight. No sketches yet, Joe, although I do hope we find at least one in all of our cases. We have Walder, laser cut, number 69. We have a Sansa brought orange. Number 119 out of 199. Battles insert, battle for Casterly Rock. Number 17. We have metal, Lady Leanna Mormont, 
We are not a large house, but we are a proud one, and every man from Bear Island fights with the strength of ten mainlanders. That is number 15, E15. Tiffany says, you'd hope that a sketch would be pulled out of five cases. You would hope. On the complete series, we did pull one sketch out of four total cases, so we'll see. We have John rejoins Tormund in the Free Folk. Inflections, number 199. We have a gold, number 55 of 99. There's our second gold, so two reds, two gold base parallels. Uh, the metal ones come sleeved in the pack, so I'm assuming they don't get scratched. Hey, we do have another dual auto here. Finn Jones and Gethin Anthony. As Loris Tyrell and Renly Baratheon. Dual autograph, number two of the case. Josh says, if you pull AF27 Daenerys, I would love to buy. I don't think we've seen any AF cards yet. Is that one of the relics, Joshua? Jack says, who's your favorite character? Love the channel. Thank you, Jack. Unfortunately, I've never actually seen Game of Thrones. When Game of Thrones first started showing on HBO, I was, I think, in ninth grade. So I wasn't allowed to watch stuff like that. It wasn't deemed appropriate for me. And then since I missed out, I, ne I just never got, I never got into it. Sean asks, how much are these boxes? I believe we have them at 145 on our website. I believe retail is supposed to be 150 on them. We do have them at 144.99. We have inscription. Carrie Ingram says, thanks, Dad. As Shireen Baratheon. Oh, the, the artifacts metal cards. Haven't seen any of the artifacts metal. Are those the printed sketch? Storm Reed, just subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> that makes the inscription even better, Andon. Andon says, spoiler alert for what happens, and then tells me what happens to that character. That makes that inscription hilarious. Joshua says number to 25. All right. We'll keep an eye out for that, Josh. All right. We have 3,291 here. Box number nine of our first case. Welcome. We're almost done with our first case. We have inscription Tom Hopper, Battle of the Gold Road. I like his handwriting. That's some smooth handwriting. As Dick and Tarly. Jonathan says, oh my, I didn't know there were Game of Thrones non-sports cards. Sweet. If this product is brand new, releasing today. Do you have another inscription auto? Stephen Cole. Covar Covasso or Covaro? Perhaps Covaro. Yep, the name is Covaro, so that makes sense. Stephen Cole, inscription auto. Acorn says, would be cool to get a printing plate. Not sure if I saw plates on the checklist or not, Acorn. Usually plates go in archive boxes, but the 20 case incentive, instead of being an archive box, uh, was a base metal parallel set to 99, I believe.
Perhaps for Iron Anniversary Series 2, maybe archive boxes with plates? Not sure what their plans are on that yet. Hey, Saifa, welcome. Acorn says they are on the checklist. All right, so I guess we could pull a plate. That'd be sick. Another laser cut, Piat Pri. Number 81. Jordan, you did miss Niv. Niv was at the beginning. Niv is also in the thumbnail and on Instagram. <laughs> no Amelia's yet, Arnie. But I have hope. We have orange. 149 out of 199. Battles insert, Battle of Castle Castle Black. Number 9. Hey, Ruben, welcome. Feels like more metal in here. Odd Ron, just subscribe. Thank you, Odd Ron. We have Littlefinger. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Many who try to climb it fail and never get to try again. The climb is all there is. That is E9, Littlefinger metal. You have another inflections extended. Brand of Tarth becomes a knight. Number 163. And last pack of box number nine. Do you have another gold? Number 93 of 99. So we are almost finished here with case number one. All right, last box of our first case is number 8,535. Our lowest number that we've seen so far was 1,000-something. There's a print run of 18,000 total boxes. Hey, Ryu, welcome. All right, pack number one. Oh, we may have our first relic card. There's something thick in here. Looking perhaps 100 points. All right, doesn't want to focus. Let's just go. What do we have? We have Jon Snow, Love is Death of Duty. That's a cool relic piece. Authentic piece of Jon Snow's costume material, QC3. Korean Troy is now falling. Thank you, Troy. Very nice. First relic. Constipated says, hey, Allie, when I was wrestling, my hair was past my shoulder blades in that same color. Constipated, are you sure you're not just Triple H in disguise? That's super cool. Super cool looking relic piece. Anthony says you didn't touch it. I don't know. It looks like there's stuff on there. I don't want to, like, flake anything off. I'm keeping that intact, Anthony. I'll let, I'll let that one slide. Gray and Troy has just bought a mint Marvel Metal Silver Flasher set. That sounds cool. New Marvel Metal set, X-Men Metal's coming out next week. 
We have Battle of the Gold Road. Number 19. Kiernan asks, what are the relic odds? That is a very good question. Not seeing odds on the packaging. Perhaps the checklist has odds. I don't think I saw checklist odds, but it might have been updated. And we have Roos Bolton medals. Smart Commander does not abandon a defensive advantage. Uh, we're getting in two cases. Korean Trade, we're going to open up an inner live, most likely, uh, next Wednesday. Well, maybe not live, because we have Mando on Wednesday. Uh, and then we'll have the other three inners available for personal breaks. E35 on that metal. No, I'm not sleeving. I don't know. I'm not sleeving the battles. The inflections are more than one per box. They seem like two per box, and the these are like one per box, so I don't... I'm just sleeving up the inflections and the laser cut because those look like they could get easily damaged. So, but I'm not. I'm not sleeving these right now. Joshua says the checklist without odds for relics. And George says all the relics are super rare, so probably pretty hard to pull. Usually they are. Usually they are. And the relics tend to sell very well as well. I remember in perhaps a season seven box, uh, we actually did pull a Daenerys relic back in the day. Bossman pulled it. And it sold on eBay, like, within 10 minutes for $485. So, another Inflections extended series. Hey, no problem. Thanks for looking out for me, DD Ben. Appreciate it. Another gold. 15 of 99. Inscription, James Cosmo, House Mormont, I'm assuming, as Lord Commander Mormont. D-Ben says, your context on the stuff, figure you're doing MH2 openings and ha happen to stay. Yeah, we're, we'll, be, we'll be opening up Modern Horizons. I'll be doing it some tomorrow night, and then not live, but videos tomorrow night and on Friday. Another inscription. Esme Bianco, spying is fun. As Ross. Or Rose. We have laser cut mates. And that's it for this 10th box, final box of case number one. So out of one case, we did find one relic, two dual autos. And a lot of boxes did have multiple inscriptions compared to single autos. So three boxes had an inscription in a single auto. Two boxes had an inscription in a dual and the rest had double inscriptions. All right, so that does it for our first case here. Of course, I'll do a recap at the end of our five case opening. Look at our autographs, look at our numbered parallels. But for a micro recap, do you get one silver inflection out of 75, one gold out of 40? Base, we found four golds out of 99 and two reds out of 50. And then of course, nice stack of bronze out of 199. Bronze are orange. They look orange to me, but I honestly wouldn't be too surprised if they're bronze. All right, so let me clean up a bit, and I'll be back with our second case. So hang tight, everyone. I'll be back momentarily. Hey, 
acorn says checklist says they're copper. All right, so I'm just completely wrong. Not bronze, not orange, but copper. What are the reds officially, acorn? I'm assuming the golds are golds, but are the reds like ruby or something? Hi, Juan. Welcome. Acorn says copper, gold, iron out of 99, which is the case incentive, which we do have uh, one of those coming. And printing plates 101. So, not sure why the reds are not on the checklist, but interesting. Interesting. Hey, Alan. Welcome. Well, it's box number one. Case number two is number 9,463. Uh, Grand Joy, we will have the boxes on our website next Tuesday for X-Men Metal. Pre-orders will be up next Tuesday. I have not, Timmy. Starting off with an inflection. Ooh, look at that dragon. Regal suffers a fatal wound. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's a dead dragon. Number 181. That's not Niv friendly. Uh, not sure yet. My boss is the one that prices out sealed product Korean Troy. And the gold, I'm getting a lot of gold Samwells, I feel. 95 of 99. John Bradley, single auto, as Samwell Tarly. So our first auto of box number one, case number two. We do have an inscription auto, K. Alexander. The green eyes are beautiful. Maybe. As Leaf. Uh, Korean Troy most likely will have 18 boxes available. But I know there's a lot of people interested. So they'll probably go pretty quickly. Hey, thanks, James. Zach, we're opening up five for the shop and then one for a customer. This is case number two. Do you have another metal card? Cersei, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. That is number seven. You have a laser cut Sirio. We have Copper, Samwell, once again. Number 154 of 199. All right, last pack of this box. You have Battles insert, Battle of the Bastards. And all right. I want to see what number it is, but it is covered up by the Rittenhouse logo on the shrink wrap. So. This is number 7,485. Hi, Shannon. 
Acorn says, it's weird the red ones aren't on the checklist. Can't find them anywhere, so I don't know what they are. So I'm going to just say red. I'm going to just keep going with red. Jamie and Brienne unite and then break up. Inflections 175. Hey, thank you, James. Acorn says someone sold a red Daenerys for 125, so let's just go with red. That works for me. Do you have another metal? Grey Worm. I had no fears. I was never the biggest, never the strongest, but I was bravest. Always. Our E27. Uh, usually I'm able to update the website sometime in the afternoon. I always do, however, post on the YouTube community tab uh, when there's new products listed. Ooh, looks like we have another relic. Who will it be this time? Ooh, look at that Daenerys relic. The next time you raise a hand to me will be the last time you have hands. I like it. I like the energy. Yes. Yes. Queen. There's QC2. Sick. That'll be the last time that you have hands. I like it. Good. Yo, Niv, you want to eat some hands? We have Conan Stevens, Mountain of Muscle, as Gregor Clegane, Inscription Auto. Liam asks, what's the relic from? It is from a red outfit. I'm assuming perhaps some of the underlining of uh, the coat she's wearing it is authentic piece of costume material. Acorn says, one relic listed on eBay with a different quote, so a different Daenerys relic then, but still a Daenerys, for $1,000. We have another inscription auto. Brigitte Sorensen, Free Folk, as Carsey. Yeah, but it's an authentic piece of the costume used. At least that is my understanding with the different Rittenhouse relics. We have laser cut, Unella. Orange, 80 out of 199. Gilberto just subscribed. Thank you, Gilberto. You have Battles insert, Sack of Astapor. Uh, we have our boxes at one forty four ninety nine, I believe. I believe retail is one forty nine ninety nine, so it's a little under. Of course, that does include free shipping in the United States. Two autos a box, and we do ship all base as well. Next box is a nice clean number fifty four hundred.
definitely very fun to open. I'm liking the multi-inscription boxes. I really like the way all the inserts look. We're getting seemingly one metal card per box, so I like that as well, because they feel very nice. Each case has yielded... I mean, we've only opened two so far. But each case has yielded a relic. Really hope we'll find a sketch out of the six total cases we're opening. Five for us, one for Arnie as a personal break. So. Battles. Battle of Winterfell, Great War. Tiffany asks, Allie, what would you do if you ended up with box number one? I mean, if it's in one of these cases, I'm opening it, but I'd probably actually keep the box. Like, that'd just be kind of cool to keep. Like, the actual, the actual box. Another copper. 147 out of 199. Laser cut Benjen. Hey, Razor City, welcome. I think we've had a few Sean Bean parallels, but no autos or relic just yet. We have a metal Rob Stark. All men should keep their word. Kings most of all. Number 33. Yeah, have Joseph Alton, killed by Egret. As Pipar, auto. Another inscription, Gemma, Queen of Salt and Rock, as Yara Greyjoy. Do have a gold, Sansa. 44 of 99. I think it's just volume of signatures, Acorn. Because, you know, maybe one or two, perhaps three Game of Thrones products a year uh, versus, like, a, a new baseball product coming out every, like, two and a half weeks. The volume of autographs required, I think, is very different. Like, yeah, there's 18,000 of these boxes. So there's twice as many autos. But Rittenhouse does this. You guys, I know some of you commented, seem those like these are older autos. Rittenhouse will do buybacks sometimes, too, on their own autos and then reinsert them. Keeps the population count low, which was why you may notice these designs from sets from several years ago as well. Uh, biggest name here is Amelia Clark did sign new autographs, new inscriptions. Uh, there's suspect to be less than 10 of each inscription, uh, Shannon. So that is, I think, the number one chase here. Hey, Adam's Card Closet. Welcome. All right. Number 11,574 here on this next box. Yep, Tiffany. All right, here we go. Pack number one. We 
We have Tormund returns north beyond the wall. Number 179. We do have another red. Red Sansa. Four of 50. We have an inscription. Huizman, Game of Thrones inscription as Dario Naharis. Let me move the stack of base. It's getting quite tall. Inscription, Amy Richardson, Marcella Baratheon. Of course, as Marcella. Amy Inscription Auto. We have laser cut Marin. We have a copper, 163 out of 199. Uh, no Arya Starks yet, Norin. We have battles, insert, Battle of the Green Fork. We have another medal. We have Kyburn. Belief is so often the death of reason. That is number E23. All right, so our case topper for our second is House Stark. Winter is coming. That is CT3. So like I said, Series 1 has CT1, CT3, and then... Series 2, Iron Anniversary, coming out later in the year. We'll have number 2 and 4. And, of course, the even numbers of these insert sets. Thirteen three seven one is our next box. Here we go. Pack number one. It is annoying, Georgia. It's like they went through the effort to put it in the top loader. It's like, come on, just give us, give us a sleeve, please. We have John Murder's Daenerys inflections. Number 191. We have Sansa Metal. I believe this is our first duplicate, number E5. Gold. 13 of 99.
Oh, we have a dual auto here. Hey, that's cool. Lena Haiti and Ian Beatty. As Cersei and Marin. Nice duel. It's our first duel of case number two. Case number one did find two duels. We have Inscription, Nim Sand, Jessica Henwick, is Nimeria Sand. JM, JM, we haven't found any sketches just quite yet. I'm hopeful that we'll find one. We did find one out of our four cases of the complete series. So since we're opening up five for the shop and one is a personal break, I'm hoping out of the six cases we open today that we find one. Laser cut Loris. Orange Brienne, 100 out of 199. We have Battle for Castily Rock insert. And that does it for this box. So let's go ahead and get on into, I believe, box number six of this case. This is box number 630, our lowest numbered so far. See, I can't bring them over, boss man, because I need them for the recap. Hey, Axel Globe. Here we go, box number six, case number two. All right, here we go, pack number one. We have Daenerys executes Varys, inflections. Gold Brienne, 20 out of 99. You have a single auto, Ian Beatty, as Marin. Just found him on a dual auto. Now we have him on a single auto. It's our first auto of this box. We have our inscription, Elizabeth Cadwallader. My sister is mean. As Lolly's Stokeworth. Laser cut, number 55. 
We have copper. 51 of 199. We have Jor Mormont. Another duplicate on these metals. Number 19. And we have battles inserts, conflict in the gift. George says, imagine trying to put together a master set of inscription autos. That'd be nuts. Because I know there's a lot of inscriptions per character. That would take a ton of time and money to do so. It's box number There we go, pack number one. Battles insert, Battle of Castle Black. We have inflections, John reveals his secret to his siblings. We have another red. Number 49 of 50. Jordan, we have our boxes at $144.99 on our website. Another dual auto, Ben Crompton and Mark Stanley. As Edison Tollett and Gren. That's our second dual auto of case number two. We have Roose Bolton. Metal number 35. Uh, Bounty Hunter, we hit a Daenerys Relic. We have yet to hit an Amelia Clark autograph. Hey, Velvet Woods, welcome. We have our inscription auto. Hey, look at that. I like the little skull. Ross O'Hennessy. As Lord of Bones. We have laser cut lock. Hey Keith, welcome. Orange, 68 out of 199. And that finishes this box.
All right, up next, we have Arya destroys the Night King, saves Bran, and Flactions. Gold, Tyrion. 60 of 99. Oh, we have another dual auto. Roger Ashton Griffiths and Mark Gattis. As Mace Tyrell and Tycho Nestoris. This is our third dual auto here. Case number two. Bounty Hunter says, if I hit the Powerball, I just buy all 100 Stellar Cases. We have Metal Brand. I remember everything. Number 11. And our inscription, Gethin Anthony. I'll take that bet. As Renly Baratheon. Four twenty has subscribed. Thank you, four twenty. A uh, red Spartan. I will do a recap at the end of all of our cases. Laser cut Lysa. We have copper. Forty five of one ninety nine. We have Battles Insert, Battle of the Gold Road. All right, two boxes left in our second case. This box here is 6,353. The Card Kids just subscribed. Thank you, Card Kids. We have Jamie Lannister with Stan's Judgment. Looks like we have another gold. John rejoins Tormund and the Free Folk. It's number 12 of 40. 
So our first gold inflections of the case. We have Tyrian metal. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you. That is number one. Hey, Dan. Welcome. We have Inscription. Ralph Innocent. I've had enough of Theon. As Dagmer. Hey, Ryan. Welcome. I do, Bounty. I do have a fan running. I am so warm right now. Because it's, you know, getting close to peak. I mean, next month in August, they're going to be brutal. But it's, it's, it's really heating up here in Florida. The wig is very warm. And this is not a very lightweight costume. We have inscription, Luke Barnes. As Rast. Bad Keith Gaming says, does it tell you how many inscriptions are available in the set? The checklist does denote every single inscription that exists and gives you an approximation of how many were signed in that one. Like for all the Amelia Clark inscriptions, it says five to 10. Um, so there's not very many of those, but it gives you estimates of how many exist and which different inscription you can find per character. Ryan, we're on box number nine of case number two. Hey Rodolfo, welcome. We have laser cut mance. We have copper Daenerys. I like this outfit too. That's number 143 of 199. Battles, right at the Wirewood. And all right, last box, case number two, number 4,642. And we'll take a short break after this box and before we get on into case number three. Inflections, Clegane versus Clegane. A red Jora, I believe. Twenty five of fifty. I have inscription James Cosmo, Game of Thrones. As Lord Commander Mormons. I 
And we have another inscription. Paul Bentley. I like to role play. Interesting. Yoda is now falling. Thank you, Yoda. As High Septon. Samwell medal number 21 and Spartan says love that Mormont auto and Viserys laser cut Copper, Sansa, 156 out of 199. And last pack of case number two. We have Raid on Craster's Keep. That does it for our second case. Now, we'll do a full recap, of course, at the end of case number five. But just to note, case number two actually had three dual autos, whereas case number one just had two. But case number one also had this T2 insert. We did not find any of those in case number two. And we only had one gold inflection. We had a gold and a silver out of case number one. Although I feel like case number two had more reds. And we also found that Daenerys relic in case number two. So case number two was also very nice. But anyways, like I said, going to take a short break. And then I'll be back with cases three, four, and five. And of course, do have that personal break of a case afterwards for Arnie as well. So we'll be opening in six total cases live today. Five for the shop, which is why the video is titled Five Cases. Uh, because all those will be available for sale on our eBay store later tonight. Mac asks, how many boxes come in a case? There are ten boxes per case. Um, so let me go ahead, take that short break, and like I said, I'll be back with case number three. So hang tight, everybody, and I'll see you momentarily.
All right, there we go. Hello, hello, everybody. I've returned. Thank you for hanging tight during that break. Hey, Valami, welcome. We're right about to get on into case number three. Nope, just the wig. Just the wig, Valami. All right, let's go. Case number three. We've been finding a relic per case, which is very nice. I'd like to find a sketch. I would like to pull my first ever David Dubois sketch card. That's what I want the most today. I mean, I'd love an Amelia Clark autograph. Of course, obviously, that'd be amazing. But I would really love to pull a David Dubois sketch. All right, box number 8,520. Let's go. Hey, Jim, welcome. Hey, Dragon Venom, welcome. Steve, just subscribe. Thank you, Steve. Starting off with an inscription, Nim, Jessica Henwick is Nemeria Sand. Niv's not hungry today, Ryan. Niv was fed yesterday. We have Gregor, laser cut. Fisher the Prime asks, when is Winds of Winter getting released? That's a good question that I don't know the answer to, so I'll defer to chat. If anybody knows, let me know. Or if you're on Twitch, you can go ahead and tell Fisher. But if you know, leave a comment so that way I can pass along that information. We have Battles. Insert Battles of the Bastard. Bjorn and Frank say never. We have an copper. I keep wanting to say orange, but they are copper. 139 out of 199. We have King Robert Baratheon medal. This wig has so much hair. There we go. That's a bit better. We have Tyrion resigns in protest. Inflections, 189. A red Daenerys, that's nice. Nine of fifty, card number three. And last pack. We have our inscription, Alfie Allen. It can always be worse. And that's true, as Theon Greyjoy.
All right, we have number 16,312 for our next box. Jon Snow learns to fly in flexions. We have gold, Melisandre, 90 out of 99. Inscription. Kill the bastards anyways. Gemma. As Yara Greyjoy. I think we've seen a couple different inscriptions from her. In our three cases. Ryan says, your recycling bin won't be hungry for a while after you're done with this. That is true. Sometimes I have to stagger it because the bin's actually full. So sometimes I have like a couple boxes in my garage. Of just waiting for a recycle to get picked up so that I can shove it in when it's empty. Our second inscription, Battle of King's Landing, Mark Rissman. As Captain Harry Strickland. Just plain old me, so 16,312. Sounds like the number of packs of Game of Thrones I've watched you open today. Definitely feels like a lot. We have Benjen laser cut. Well, eight packs per box, ten packs per case, or er, ten boxes per case. So 80 packs a case. There's a heavy pack, should be a metal. We have Kyburn Metal. Starting to see a lot of duplicates on our metals, so perhaps we've seen the whole insert set. And like I said, Rittenhouse did skip number them, so Series 2 later this year should have the other half of the inserts. We have Copper, 55 of 199. Battle for Casterly Rock. All right, that's it for that box. Here we go, next one is 74.79. I find it interesting that the complete series boxes, which had a lot more packs per box, had much smaller boxes, and these have these giant Goodwin champion sized boxes. I was surprised by how large the cases were. Since there's only 10 boxes per case, this is much larger than I had anticipated. The actual, the complete, the usual size of Rittenhouse boxes are very nice and compact. Which, however, being compact, if anything gets damaged, the damage goes through into the boxes in a lot of the cards. So at least with these, if like your box got smushed, your packs are most likely fine. Unless it got like stabbed right in the middle. But... We have another metal. Ooh, or no, not metal. We actually have another one of those T inserts. Look at that raven. That's cool. And that is number T1. We have T1 and T2. Right. Eugene Simon Auto 
as Lancel Lannister. Inscription, Ross O'Hennessy, Tormund, you traitor, Lord of Bones, Ryan, this product does have sketches, so I hope that we can find at least one today. Mace, laser cut. Hey, welcome back, Alan. Or uh, copper, one hundred nine out of one ninety nine. Lil says is now following. Thank you, Lil. Battles, sack of Astapor. Sansa Metal. And last pack. We have Inflection, Sansa, Queen of the Queen in the North. Alan, we're opening up five cases for the shop. So fifty boxes for us. And we do have a personal case for Arnie, so 60 total. This is number 10,376. Oh, that's too bad, Alvino. Inflections, you're on Greyjoy, earns his queen. We have gold, thirty five of ninety nine. You did miss Niv. Niv was at the beginning, Jason. And it's interesting, we have a single, but it's still inscription auto here, Stephen Cole. As Kovaro. So we're going to put that in our other style auto pile, even though that is technically an inscription. Not the inscription style we were expecting, however. Tyrion Metal. Trust me, Ryan, I want to pull this whole wig off. I just want to... 
And look, let's just say, we pull an Amelia Auto, my wig will literally be snatched, because I will rip it off my head, snatch my own wig. There we go. That's good. Incentive, extra incentive for my fire hands to pull an Amelia Auto. That means I can take the wig off. Jogger says, sounds like a plan. All right, we have a regular inscription, Simon Armstrong, uh, Armstrong, the Night's Watch. Half hand. OSHA, laser cuts. Thank you, Ryan. Brienne Copper, 60 out of 199. So it looks like the ones with the names are the middle pieces of the puzzles. That's cool. That makes sense visually makes sense to be the one in the middle. So I'm assuming they're nine card sets for each character. Battles, Raid on Craster's Keep. No right. Our carton topper here, again, is the Night's Watch. Like I said, two types for Series 1. So we have two Night's Watches currently and one House Stark. Here we go, box number 5. Number 3,303. Yep, the reds out of 50 are the lowest we found for the base, Ryan. Uh, we have found the gold inflections. We have two of those number to 40. But the reds, oddly enough, aren't currently on the checklist, but there are printing plates. So there are one of ones, but we haven't found any yet. Another copper, 22 of 199. Battles, Sack of Astapor. Metal Circe. Inscription, Joseph Alton. Winter is coming as Pipar. Uh, Moneymaker Extended Series Hockey should be here on the 30th. It's the last day of the month. Laser Cut, Viscerous. Jamie withstands judgment.
Gold Daenerys, that's nice. 29 of 99. Glad to hear it, Ryan. And we have Tom Hopper, Burned Alive. Again, love this guy's handwriting. As Dick and Tarly. All right, 1370 is our next box. Pretty low, but our lowest we've seen has been in the 600s. go first pack next box John Murders Daenerys Gold Tyrion 98 of 99. You have dual auto. Oh, that's cool. Little mini inscription says with love. Amrita Acharya and Roxanne McKee. Little hearts. As Eerie and Dory. So our first dual auto of case number three. Love the little inscriptions here. The hearts and with love. We have Gilly metal. J uh, JM, the autos aren't numbered on the card. However, on the checklist, it does give you per inscription, per duel, per single auto, uh, the rarity of it, whether it's limited, very limited, extremely limited, uh, or otherwise. And also, it does give you an approximation of how much it exists. So if it's like a limited auto, usually that's 400 to 500, and then it goes down. For the inscriptions, it actually tells you how much per inscription, like each of the Daenerys inscriptions, Amelia Clark, five to 10. Somewhere in that range. I don't know why with such a low number. It wouldn't just give the exact number. But maximum 80 different Amelia Clark inscriptions. Because I believe there's 8 different ones. So max 80, min 40. So they aren't numbered. But you can tell rarity in regards to other cards as well. So you won't know exactly how much. But you have like a general range of how rare your auto is. And how many approximately exist. And for our regular inscription, we have Sir Alton, Carl Davies, as Alton Lannister. Geriatric Geek says, the more I watch this break, the more boxes I buy, my wallet is in trouble. Yeah, but the cards are so nice. Geriatric Geek, the cards are so pretty. Laser cut. Whoop. We have copper Samwell. We've had so many copper Samwells. One fifty nine of one ninety nine. We have battles raid right on Craster's Keep. All 
right, so we've had one dual auto in case number three. No relics or sketches, anything like that, just quite yet. There are four boxes left in case number three. This is number 17,659. That might be our highest. Uh, Razor City, they will get sorted and listed on our eBay shop. Hopefully everything gets listed tonight. Uh, but there might be some carryover into Friday. Piece of the box came off with this one. Interesting. Largest auto so far. Uh, we did have a Cersei dual auto. No, that's not the dual auto pile. We had a Cersei dual auto, but biggest pull so far, I think, has been the Daenerys relic. We also had some cards number to 40, some number to 50. We have an inscription. Our second, Keisha Castle Hughes. This is actually our first auto of the stream. As Obara Sand. Serio, laser cut. Another copper Sansa. One one ninety four of one ninety nine. The base will get sorted and listed as well. Battles insert. Hi, Caitlin. Welcome. Hey, Breaking Chris. Welcome. Metal Gray Worm. Inflections, Daenerys executes Varus. No sketches yet, unfortunately. A little over halfway through case number three. We have another red. And this one, 18 of 50. An inscription, we have James Cosmo, the old bear. Hey, thanks, J Cells. Next box we have is 3304. We have 3303 in this case. This is 3304. Kurtrat says, love these cards. I'm curious how many rewards points per pack, just two or more. Uh, I'll check actually afterwards. Ten points on these packs, Kurtrats. John reveals his secrets. Inflections. A 
looks like we have another relic here. It is Tyrion. Lannisters always pay their debts. That's cool. It is QC6. You're welcome, Kurtrats. Do have Ralph Einson prove yourself inscription as Dagmer. No relics are bonuses. Relics and sketches are always bonuses. I think it replaces our numbered card of the box. Uh, boss man might help depending on how busy it is in store or not, Shannon. But otherwise, I'd take all the pictures, sort most of it. So. There's a lot of cards. We have another inscription. Game of Thrones, Leo Woodruff. As Howland Reed. You're on laser cuts. We have an orange, or not orange, they're copper. They look orange, but they're called copper. Tormund Gr Giant Spain. 175 of 199. Bobcat says those base cards would be great for getting autographed at a convention with silver or gold. That's a really good point. I just love these portrait pictures. We have Metal Samwell. Hey, thank you, Roberto. We have our battles inserted of the box. All right, on to box number nine. It is 10,377. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Box number nine. We have Arya destroys the Night King, saves Bran. Inflections. We have Metal, Rob Stark. We have Gold, Clegane versus Clegane. Inflections, number 440. Uh, we put in, I think, for seven cases of the Women of Star Trek set, Geriatric Geek.
First out of the box, we have Joseph Alton. We're seeing a lot of him today as Pipar. In our inscription, we have Sarah Dillon, Game of Thrones, as Bernadette. Nella, laser cut. Copper Daenerys, hey, that looks familiar. <laughs> uh, just a relic, Joshua, no autos yet. I am hoping to find one. We also had a red parallel. A red, I think two coppers. We have our battles insert. That's it for box number nine. All right, case three, box 10. 13,367 is the numbering here. Last box of case number three. Case number three has had one gold inflection, just one dual auto so far, and one relic. Copper Brienne, 166 of 199. Our battles insert. Metal Bran. We have Battle of Winterfell inflections. Not sure what set they're originally from, Ska Punk. Maybe red. Hey, look at that. The main Daenerys card here. It's our second red Daenerys, 11 of 50. We have Carice Van Houten as Melisandre, single auto, very large signature as well. For our inscription, we have Stephen Cole. Dothraki are the best fighters. 
as Kovaro. Should be fine, Scott Punk. We have laser cuts. It's our last insert here of case number three. All right, let me move this out of the way. I'll be back with case number four shortly. Thank you, Velvet, for providing our musical interlude. Pinky out. All right, well, let's keep up the pace here. Get on into case number four. Like I said, would love to find an Amelia Clark. Would love to find a sketch. All right, box number ten thousand three hundred and eighty-two. Uh, Bobby, we got 21 cases from Southern and five from All Sports. We have gold. 76 of 99. Full regalia, Shannon. I don't actually have flip. My flip flops are in the car for later, but I'm wearing boots right now. I haven't been looking for Tiny Knife Bounty Hunter. Tiny Knife, though, should just be in the other room. We have Harry Lloyd. As Viserys Targaryen, inscription. Not sure what that says, but inscription. Uh, Joshua, there are printing plates. Haven't seen any. The reds, oddly enough, aren't on the checklist. But... They exist. We found some. So I don't know if there's other parallels that aren't on the checklist. Or if perhaps that was an error and it's supposed to be reds and not plates. I don't know. We have a second inscription. Stephen Cole. Blood Rider. Seen a lot of different inscriptions here from Kovaro today. Oh, Mad John Blood says it says D's bro. That makes sense. Hey, Anthony. Well, we 
We have Mace, laser cut. We have Copper. 10 of 199. Uh, AKA Galar says Reds are on the checklist now. All right, thank you for the update. Hey, Charlie with the $2. Hey, Charlie with the $2 super sticker. Thank you so much, Charlie. And Joey says, you look great. Thank you, Joey. Another metal gray worm. We have Melisandre reaffirms Arya's destiny. That does it for our first box of case four. One second, everybody. Great news. Billy, our TCG player guy, has finished packing Modern Horizons 2 pre-orders and is going to start sorting the base for me. Yay! Everybody say shout out to Billy. All right, here we go. Next box, 7,487. Nice pickup, Charlie. John murders Daenerys. <laughs> Ryan says, good job, Billy. You get to keep your job. We have gold, Sam. Seven of 99. Sean wants to know if Drogon has eaten a card yet. No. Drogon's taking a nap. Metal Kyburn. We have a dual auto, Finn Jones and Gethin Anthony. As Loris Tyrell and Renly Baratheon. As our first dual auto of case number four. Inscription. Old Gods of the Forest. Leo Woodruff. As Howland Reed. Burn laser etched. Copper out of one ninety nine.
We do have our battles insert. Alrighty, on to our next box. Number 4,640. Acorn says, I still think it's weird. Rittenhouse doesn't give you, or it doesn't number the autos and just gives you a vague idea that you have to look up. I mean, I, I like that they give you the details. For most base autos, you have no idea how many exist, like at all. I remember when Star Wars and Galactic Files and Holocron and whatnot, when the base autos are numbered and it's like out of 400, nearly 500, people are like, ah, eh. it makes it feel less to them. Because you know it's a base auto, so you know there's a lot, but to actually know that it's just one of, like, 400 and something uh, sometimes makes you not feel so great about your autos. So I wonder if it's a mix of that, where it's like, you don't need to put on the card. Also, I think they don't number it because, of course, as you see, some of these autos are from older sets. Not sure if they're, like, buybacks or held back from old product or actually, like, just never pack inserted. I mean, if they numbered it, you couldn't reuse it. So, I think it's a combination of all kinds of stuff. We have Battle of, Win Battle of Winterfell. Oddly enough, we've only found one silver inflections out of 75, but we found three golds out of 40. Yep, Sean, using tiniest knife today. Ooh, we have another relic. Who is our relic of case four? Oh, what is that? Is that space for an auto? What is that? It is relic auto, Lena Haiti. Nice, Cersei Relic Auto, that's sweet. Ooh, it's velvet. Ooh, that's a nice texture. Nice. I didn't realize that they wouldn't be cut. I'm used to Relic Autos being cut autos, but that's actually on card. I'm used to Rittenhouse doing Relic Autos as cuts. No Amelia's Connor. But we've had a couple of red parallels out of 50. I did. I touched it, Anthony. I touched it. Josh, want, uh, Josh says claim on the Cersei relic. Cersei relic auto. Nice. Relic auto. That is super cool. Rob Stark Metal. So Velvet says, it's me, Velvet. It's -a me, Velvet. And we have Inscription, Anya, Red Priestess, maybe. What? Not sure what that says. As Kinvara. Uh, eight packs per box, Mac. Acorn says it does say Red Priestess. All right. We have another auto here. Carl Davies is Cousins. This is a three auto box, huh? Because the relic is bonus. Nice. I mean, she spelled priestess wrong. 
Acorn says this is a 10 to 25 inscription, but she spelled priestess wrong, so it's a 101. Duh. Easy. That's why I was like, Red Priestess. I'm like, that doesn't say Priestess. Land cell. Laser cut. We have copper. On a 199, of course. All right, that does it for this box. Three auto box, Cersei Relic Auto, and two inscriptions. Twelve six two four. Sir wants to know if I watched the He-Man trailer. I did not. Didn't even realize there was a He-Man movie coming. Joshua says paid. Bossman, you already called? That was fast. We have Joel Fry. Justice as this character. We have Balan laser etched or laser cut. Whoop. See you, Velvet. Take care. We have copper out of one ninety nine. This pack's heavy, probably another metal. Robert Baratheon metal. We have Regal taking a fatal wound. Inflections. Gold out of 99. Are there some base on here? There are base. Whoops. All right, last pack. Do have Drago's. I like these inscription bonus autos. Stephen Cole is Cavaro. Lots of his regular inscriptions and those older inscriptions.
All right, case number four does have another Night's Watch case topper. So three Night's Watch, one House Stark so far. All right. Box number five here. 1374. Paul says, Love the caution. Thank you, Paul. We have a red. Hey, another red Daenerys. That's our third one. Number 36 of 50. What other red Dannys do we have? Last three have all been Danny. Nice, nice. Fig Flash asks if we had any luck with Black Diamond. We found a lot of great cards out of Black Diamond. We have Brennock O'Connor as Ollie. Hey, Nick and B-Day, welcome. Carrie Ingram, Burned Alive Inscription. Gregor, Laser Cut. We have Jamie Copper out of Cersei Metal. We have Daenerys Destroys King's Landing Inflections, number 185. Crossing the halfway point of case four. Six three five seven is this box number. Thank you for the follow. lag there definitely let me know if you guys start seeing issues I'm mainly keeping an eye on chat I don't always see the replay Brienne becomes a knight inflection a metaphor welcome move the stack of base behind me
No red. Brienne, out of 50. Jewel Auto, Isaac Hempstead Wright and Burn Gorman. As Bran Stark and Carl Tanner. That is our second dual auto of case four, right? Starting to lose track between the cases. Tyrion Metal. Roger Ashton Griffiths, if I may. As Mace Tyrell. I don't have that kind of money, Shannon, to go to a playoff game. I'm sure tickets are ridiculous. I saw tickets to Kanadin's games for resale for like five grand for like the 103 section. So. Edmer, laser etched. Have a copper out of one ninety nine and our battles insert. All right, twelve six two three. Is box number seven of this case. We have another gold. Hey, that's nice. Daenerys arrives at Winterfell. 35 of 40. It's even lower than our three red Daenerys cards. Nice inflection gold. All right, looks like we're entering Lag City. Let's look at this dual auto, though. We do have another Cersei dual auto. I think it's the same one we saw earlier with... Marin, believe so. Out of four cases, we've had three Cersei autos, two duels and one relic auto. Oh, that's a less than a hundred. We found two. Nice, nice. It's looking, it's still looking a little jumpy for me, but if you guys think I can continue, let me know. I definitely don't want to give up too much time to any delays. Jogger says, looks good now. Yep, Mike, these cards will get listed on our eBay store later tonight. 
It wasn't a fair fight, Jamie Sives. Uh, Sir Jory Castle. Bounty Hunter says it looks choppy, but most people are saying it looks good, so I'll continue. Edison, laser cut. Copper Brienne. Out of 199. Nib's done for the day, Ryan. We have our battles insert. Jora metal. Why are we in Lag City? No, Niv's not chewing on any cables. It's just uh, not the greatest weather outside. It's been raining, thunderstorms on an awful day. So, you guys can still hear me though, right? Hello? Alright, thank you, Steven. I'm like, where? No one said they could hear me. I'm like, I guess there's no sound. Oh, apparently the feed is behind on Twitch, too. That's odd. Usually it's not. Usually Twitch is within a couple seconds. I'm seeing the border box jumping around still a little bit, but it definitely looks better. So I'm going to continue with this pack here. We have another Inflections Battle Plans. Evil Division is now subscribed. Thank you, Evil Division. But all right, I'll be moving on into our next box. Number 4,639. Just continue. Really don't want to waste time just chilling, especially since these are just boxes for the shop. Uh, so I'll try my best to narrate. You have Mark Addy, Killing Things, Clear as My Head, Inscription, as King Robert Baratheon. We have another inscription. We have Reese Noy. I hate Sons of Harpy. 
as Mossador. Laser cut. Tyrion orange out of one ninety nine. Copper, rather. Still believe it's orange, but checklist is copper. Battles insert. Heavy pack should be more metal. It is metal gilly. Chancellor, we have not found any Amelia autos yet. Autos yet. I am hoping that we do find one. Jorah defends his queen till the end. Inflections. We have a gold Sansa, 12 of 99. All right, on to box number nine of case four. 5,402 is the box. Uh, we're finishing up case number four right here, Chanster. Brienne memorializes Jamie in flexions. I don't know, Acorn, you'll have to wait for the checklist on Mando 2 for that answer. Gold Tyrion, 32 of 99. Ooh, what is that? Ah, it looked like the relic auto background, but that is just a regular auto. Jerome Flynn, I was thinking we got maybe another relic auto, but it's not, we have brawn. Jerome Flynn, non-inscription auto. Nope, just the regular insert medals chance. There are no of the artifacts. We have inscription, Amy Richardson, princess for hire, as, Mar as Marcella. We have Brand Stark Metal. Walder, laser cut. Melisandre, copper. 97 of 199. We do have our battles insert.
All right, last box here of case number four. Number 8,513. Joshua asks, early thoughts on hit rate of this versus previous Game of Thrones set. The only other Game of Thrones set that we actually were able to open up was Complete Series. Only opened up two cases of that, so not like really, I feel like we can compare. Although this is the first set that Amelia signed new autographs for, I believe, since this season two set. So that is definitely a big chase in here. Haven't found any yet. Of course, they are super low numbered, but would love to find one. Do have still one more case and then a personal case. So two cases left to open tonight. Well, this evening, only a little after 420. Osha. Samwell Copper out of 199. Welcome back, Chicago. Our battles insert. You have Samwell Metal. We have Jon Snow learns his true ancestry. Inflections. And we have another medal. Castle Black. Interesting. That's number G1. That's cool. If that's the first of those we found. Insert G1. We have Enzo Salenti, Yizenzo Quagas, Inscription. That is the character name. Yezin, perhaps. And last pack of case number four. We have another inscription. Toby Sebastian. House Morton. As uh, Tristan Martell. Acorn says gold icons. Is that insert? Thank you, Acorn. So that is House Mar Martell then on the inscription. All right, so that does it for case number four. Let me tidy up a bit, and I'll be back with case number five. Then we'll do our recap after that, and of course, get into Arnie's personal case. All right, one more chance for us here to find a sketch and an Amelia Clark autograph. Of course, we'd love to pull both. 
but I'd be very pleased with just one of those here in this last case for us this evening. All right, here we go. Case number five, box number one. This is number 5,387. Hi, iMac, welcome. And Brienne memorializes Jamie. No links in chat, please. We have a red Sansa. This is the middle piece. Number 35 of 50. Tiffany says, I just want to see you eat the wig. I would love to get my wig snatched by an Amelia Clark pull. We have Vladimir Furtick, Night King inscription. That's cool. Night King auto. Another inscription, we have Brennick O'Connor, steward, as Ollie. Unella, insert. We have copper of one ninety nine. Have our battles insert and last pack. You have Metal Egret. You're mine as I'm yours, and if we die, we die. But first, we'll live. I believe that is our first Egret medal out of five cases. Oh, the base cards, and you have the copper out of 199, gold out of 99, red out of 50, and we haven't found any printing plates. Which those are one of ones. Eight three eight five three fours are our second box of the case. We have Reese Noy as Mossador inscription. Edison, laser cuts. Copper out of one ninety nine.
Leanna Mormont, Metals. Inflections. Melisandre reaffirms Arya's destiny. Red. Seven of fifty. And we have Enzo Salenti to the Great Games inscription as Yizan or Yezin. A lot of these names look very interesting, especially as I've never seen the show. Lots of room for error, I'd feel, in saying them aloud. All right. Two boxes down, eight more to go. Ten three six seven. Inflections. Daenerys destroys King's Landing. Gold, Brienne out of 99. We have another dual auto, Julian Glover and Dean Charles Chapman. As Grandmaster Pycelle and King Tommen Baratheon. We have Amy Richardson, House Baratheon, or Lannister, question mark, as Marcella. Edmer, laser cuts. Copper Tyrion out of 199. For battles insert. And the last pack of this box. We have a metal Joffrey. case topper so we did have four night's watches and just one house stark would have expected it to be a bit more even but that's how it goes sometimes the four case toppers four night watch one house stark all right box number four here seven thousand four hundred and something here on the box number We have Noah Taylor as Locke, Gold Ink Auto. We 
Inscription, Toby Sebastian, Game of Thrones, as Tristan Martell. Walder, laser cut. Hey, no problem, Joey. I hope you enjoyed it on the replay. Copper Jamie out of 199. Battles insert. Grant to just subscribe. Thank you, Grant. Littlefinger Metal. Battle of Winterfell. Inflections. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a plate. It's a plate. It's a black plate. Look at that. Sansa black plate. That's nice. Card number 153, black printing plate. Sick. I'm going to re-sleeve it because I don't like this sleeve. Very nice. And of course, it's slightly thicker than 35 points. So I will put that down here with those two 3D inserts, that Castle Black uh, Golden Icons. Very cool. I'll save that. Uh, nah. Yeet. Yeet the sleep. Very nice there on that Sansa plate. So that's cool. To get a plate here in case number five. Every case so far has yielded a relic, three regular relics, one relic auto. Had between one to three double autos. Also had one gold so far. Inflections out of 40 in every case. Still would love to find a sketch. And of course, still hunting in Amelia Clark. Acorn says the plate has the puzzle on the back too. You can make a plate puzzle. That sounds like something I would do. Or attempt. Attempt to do. I think the puzzles, yeah. So a nine. I think there's nine of each character in the base set. Well, all the characters that are featured in series one. Gold out of 99. You talking to me, Heroic Waffles? Joel Fry as Zalorak. Plates are one of ones, Chicago. Eight packs per box, Acorn. We have Roger Ashton Griffiths. If that says what I think it says, that's an inscription. As Mace Tyrell. All right, that makes more sense, Acorn. I read it as something absurd when I first saw it, and I was like, I don't know if that can be right, but I've also had quotes that say burned alive, so. Benjen.
We have a Copper Brienne out of 199. Of our battles insert. We have John Snow Metal. Had a choice, keep my crown or protect the North. Chose the North. And last pack. We have Inflections. Sir Jorah defends his queen to the end. All right, here we go. Next box, 11593. Acorn says, quick math, I think printing plate should be roughly 1 in 190. That seems, every two and a half cases for a plate seems... I don't know. I mean, if that's what it is, that's not bad. Better than I would expect. Jon Snow learns his ancestry. Inflections. Right, we do have another relic here. Looks not autographed. Another Tyrion. We have our differences, Jamie and I. He's braver. I'm better looking. So that is different. Looks like a similar piece. But different quote. So it should be a different number. And that is QC6. Oh, so they are. They are both QC6, but they have different quotes. Interesting. Interesting. We have Jack Gleason as Joffrey with the King Joffrey inscription. Nice. I cannot yeet this MT. And we have Jamie Sives as with the inscription Jamie Lannister fights dirty. As Sir Jory Castle. Elena Tyrell, medal. Seeing some different medals here in this last case. Marin, laser cut. Copper, Melisandre, out of 199. Battles insert. We're getting down to our last four boxes of case number five here. These will be the last boxes for the shop. And then, of course, I'll do a recap. And then we do have a sixth case. Well, this might be our lowest yet, 646. We have a sixth case, which is a personal case for Arnie. are Joffrey base cards in this series. MT, I haven't seen one. Rude. I think 
this might be our only second silver on the inflections. Daenerys honors Gendry. That is 74 of 75. It's odd. Out of five cases, we've had four golds out of 40, and this is only our second silver out of 75. Doesn't really make sense, but hey, lower is nice. Yep, this is Cap Tiffany. Knight of Clegane's Keep. Inscription. As Gregor Clegane. Acorn says apparently this guy went crazy and there's a bunch of one of one inscriptions. Interesting. Is this one of them? Then we have Ben Crompton. Castle Black. Inscription. As Edison Tollett. Tiffany says we're back to Lag City. That's unfortunate. Steven says, um. Steven, what does that mean? I need more than just um. I need to know whether you can hear me or not. Now, I can see we have lag, but can you all still hear me? If you guys can hear me, I want to continue. Because I do have to get everything sorted and listed before I can go home tonight. Alright, Acorn says you guys can still hear me. So I'll continue and I'll narrate to the best of my abilities. We have Lysa. Laser Etch. Insert. We have Sansa Copper out of one ninety We have Battle for Casterly Rock, Battles Insert. Metal Cersei Insert. And Inflections, Daenerys arrives at Winterfell. That finishes up this box here. Let's just continue. Box number eight of the case is twelve six three eight. Hey, minute is when just subscribe. Thank you, when. Viscerous laser cut. Copper out of one ninety nine. Battles insert. A metal Rob Stark.
We have Brynn becomes a knight, inflections. Gold Brienne is the centerpiece, 34 of 99. We have Inscription, Michelle Huisman, War and Women. Dario Naharis, Auto. And last pack of the box, we have Kerr Logan as Mathos Seaworth. All right, so getting quite close to the end of our shop cases. Just two boxes remain. There's box number nine, two, three, five, five in the print run. Laser cut. Oh, we have a copper Daenerys. 122 of 199. Battles insert. Burn metal. Battle plans. Inflections. Ooh, we have King's Landing gold icons. Number three, that's nice. So we've had two of those gold icon inserts out of five cases. No, Joe, no sketches, unfortunately. We have Julian Glover inscription, Game of Thrones, as Grandmaster Picel. Last pack. We have Fergus, Latham, Master at Arms, as Roger Castle, Inscription Auto. And all right, going into our last box of case number five. Let's see, this is number 9446. Here we go. Let's see what we'll find here in our final shop box. Here we go, pack number one. Battle of Castle Black. We have a copper, 59 of 199. Gray Worm Metal. John rejoins Tormund and the Free Folk in Flexions. We 
the gold, 40 of 99. Yeah, oh, I can't say that, but we have another Gemma inscription as Yara Greyjoy. And our last autograph, we have Rosabella Laurenti Sellers, Oberyn's daughter as Tyene Sand. That is our last auto here of our five cases. All right, last pack, last chance for a sketch here in case number five. We have Euron, laser cuts. Ryan says, Allie, how would you grade what you hit in the four cases? Well, this is five cases now. On a scale from one to 100. I must admit, I really don't know. As I've never seen the show. I, so I have an idea of some of the characters, some of the bigger names that we're looking for. Very cool that we did find the Cersei Relic Auto. Also had two Tyrion Relics, a Daenerys Relic, and a Jon Snow Relic. Had two Cersei Dual Autos. Had a Melisandre Single Auto. Did have that Joffrey Inscription. I see his stuff sell for a decent amount uh, because when I search for just Gleason Auto looking for General Hux, because I, I don't have any from Star Wars yet. I always see a lot. Well, not a lot, but Joffrey Autos do pop up. Same last name. Also had that Sansa printing plate. Had several numbered Daenerys parallels. Somebody on Twitch, I'm not sure if it was Acorn or somebody else. Acorn typically checks prices, but I don't remember. Saying that a different red Daenerys did sell for $125 earlier. So, I mean, we had three red Daenerys's. Uh, we had a couple bra uh, the copper, we had the printing plate Sansa, we had this Daenerys out of 40 on the inflections. The inserts are really nice, I'm sure. People will be set building, people will be picking out, building the little pictures in the base of their favorite characters. Overall, the set looks great, so definitely going to be a lot of work to sort it all and get it all listed, but... Of course, we didn't find a sketch, didn't find an Amelia Clark, didn't find Sophie Turner, or some of the other top stuff we were hunting but overall still found some nice stuff so definitely that decision rating from one to a hundred will be on boss man's hands and it says have fun sorting billy billy hat leaves at 445 so billy's been gone this is this, this is my problem now and lots of sorting lots of listing but i'm going to straighten up our piles then we'll get on into a recap i'm going to go over all the autos in all of our numbered parallels. So I'm going to work on moving inserts out of the way, uh, except for these lone, those very rare ones, those 3D sets, the gold icons. I didn't realize those would be so rare. Um, and of course our autos. So hang tight everybody. I'm going to do some housekeeping and then I'll be back with our recap. Alrighty. 
Let me finish straightening up some things. And we'll get into our recap. We have these two, two, one. Yeah, can go over that. Okay, so let's start off looking at our case toppers. Did have four of the Night's Watch and just one of the House Stark ones. Now, as I mentioned earlier and throughout the stream a couple times, uh, because Iron Anniversary Series 2 is coming out later in the year, all these inserts, for the most part, are skip numbered. So, toppers 1 and 3 are in Series 1, 2 and 4 will be in Series 2, and a lot of the inserts will have their other halves in Series 2 as well. So, let me set that behind me. Those are the carton toppers. We also found one of each of these 3D inserts, I believe is what they're called, T1, T2. These were not skip numbered. I think these are the only ones that weren't. We also had two of the golden icons. We had Castle Black and King's Landing out of five cases, number one and number three. And we had the gold Daenerys. Number 35 of 40, Clegane versus Clegane, 4 of 40, John rejoins Tormund and the Free Folk, 12 of 40, Jamie and Brienne unite and break up, 8 of 40, also had two silvers, Daenerys honors Gendry, and John rejoins Tormund and the Free Folk, numbered out of 75. Also had the Sansa printing plate, card number 153, black one of one printing plate. For our reds, these are all numbered to 50. Did have the three Daenerys reds, some Sansas. For our golds, number 299. Did have a Daenerys. And for our coppers, these are out of Onto our relics, did have the Lenahiti autograph relic here, Cersei Lannister. On card auto. And we did have two Tyrion relics. And the Daenerys relic. And the Jon Snow relic. One relic per case. And for our dual autos. I think we actually had a couple double ups on the dual autos, so let me put them together real quick. Yep. Did have two of these. And two of these Cersei duels. Definitely not a bad one to get multiples of. And then just singletons on the rest of these. I like these with the inscriptions. And all right, for our single autos, let me separate them out by style. I believe these were singletons. And these have different inscript, they do have the same inscription, but they look a bit different, of course. Stephen Cole saw a lot of the new inscriptions of him as well. To get two Joseph Altons. Let's 
So that's for these single autos, mostly non-inscription, although that one style did have inscriptions. But for the true new inscriptions for this product, definitely a big pile, not gonna combine any of them. Did have a couple that repeated inscriptions, had a same, somewhere is the same name with different inscriptions, so we'll just look through those real quick. And then I'll finish cleaning up. And then of course we do have that personal case for Arnie coming up afterwards. None of that will be for sale, don't even try it. That is all for Arnie. Now, hopefully he'll be able to join us. I know he's been in and out of the stream, but hopefully he'll be able to watch his case. Perhaps we'll find an Amelia and a sketch there. Those would be great pulls. Anyways, let's look through these inscriptions, then I'll clean up. This one, I believe, was 25 or less. Curious to check with the checklist. Of course, with the different inscriptions, there are different amounts of each. It is also, too, why I say I don't know how to rate necessarily the case. Would not have expected that one in particular to be less than 25. Curious to see if there's any other sneaky low-numbered autos. That does it here for this five case recap. So like I said, do have another case, but those won't be singles available. What you saw here in this recap, and of course all those inserts, I will try my best to get all of it listed tonight, of course, just like Star Wars Masterwork. I said I was gonna do it all and then my phone died and I can't take pictures. So we'll try to get through as much. I can't guarantee all of it, but if there's anything you're interested in, make sure to check out our eBay store later tonight. Looking for inserts, looking for base, looking for hits. Definitely come check us out there, link in the description. But I'm gonna start moving this on out of the way and then be back with that personal case. All right, let me actually adjust our cue from nothing to Arnie. Woo. It almost fits, not quite, but. Jogger says, Allie, you're luck. You'll have to suffer until the last pack in this case before you remove your wig. I just want to pull Arnie and Amelia because obviously that's what he wants the most. That'd be awesome. But also, we'll snatch my own wig. But anyways, I'm going to get started here. Personal case. This is actually the first of a couple personal ca cases we have coming to the channel. Arnie also has a case of The Mandalorian for next Wednesday. And actually, Shawn Michael C. also has a case of The Mandalorian. So, 
I know we have pretty good prices. I mean, the price on Mandalorian, I still think, is a bit ridiculous. But compared to people on eBay asking 200 to 250, Steel City asking 225, 150 is not bad in comparison. Still feels very weird, but I'm excited to check that product out next week. I'm sure there'll be some more Baby Yoda cards that get sucked into rainbow hunting. I still need that gold from last last series uh, to complete mine. I have both one ones but I don't have the gold. But, so we do have some personal cases coming. And I am having those on the release day live streams just because having f multiple full cases on Saturday nights would be a bit annoying for you all. I know that one time we had two cases of Holocron for Arnie. And it did take several hours. I enjoyed it. But of course, I know you guys really like the variety mixing up in the stream. So, move, you know, moving the cases on to release day, of course, also people get to see their hits faster as well. So as long as we're not opening up a ton, I mean, today was a lot, but less packs per box than I expected, so I feel that I'm ahead of time. Um, but I, of course, still do have to list everything tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. No need to snap. Niv is excited. Let's feed an Amelia Clark auto to Niv. Uh, I will be listing all of the coppers, all everything, everything, Devon. Uh, no idea, Daniel. Bossman will be pricing all of that out. They will be listed later tonight. Probably get the inserts ready to list first, because that's easy to do in bulk with all the drop downs, and then I'll get cracking on the autographs. But here we go. First box for Arnie is 7477. Shem says, I missed the start of the stream. How did Niv's wings work out? So Niv hates the, the thing that you have to tie because she just she doesn't want to stay still. She likes moving around. So to hold her to put it on, she hates it. Um, so what I did for the pictures that I took today is when you're holding her, like on your arm, shoulder, like this, like she just kind of sits. It's one like she's lower on the floor and she wants to just explore. Uh, so I just balance them on her. They're not actually on. They're just sitting on her back, but it looks fine. So she wasn't wearing them per se, but I took pictures with them on. So it looks cute. <laughs> all right. Box number one here for Arnie. Time to remake all of our piles. Clean slate. Clean slate. All right. Here we go. First pack. We have Daenerys executes Varus inflections. We have a red Brienne, 26 of 50. We have Inscription. Hey, look at that. Joffrey. King Joffrey Inscription. Jack Gleason. Another Inscription. Care Logan. Or Logan, excuse me. As Mathos Seaworth. Lisa on the laser cut. Do you want to keep sleeving these because they look easily damaged? This one is a hefty pack, most likely a metal. Metal Joffrey to match our inscription auto. Makes sense. We have Copper Jorah. Hey, E.T. Justin, welcome. 81 of 199. And we have our battles insert. Next box is 7478.
We have Rosabelle, I prefer a dagger inscription as Tyene Sand. Acorn says 10 to 25 on that one. Very nice. Laser cut. We have a Copper Sansa, 133 of 199. Hey, scorecard. Battles insert. It's another hefty pack. Got more metal. What is it? We have Elena Tyrell. Inflections, Jamie Lannister withstands judgment. We do have a second medal in this box. It is a plate. Arnie has a plate. Is it a Daenerys plate? That's the question. Is blue. It is Tyrion. Tyrion Cyan. Number 25. Printing play. It's one of one. Very nice. And Joel Fry is our second auto of the box. As Lorac. Yep, huge margin. The base, it seems, come in sets of nine to make a puzzle. Nine per character. Different outfits, appearances across the series. And then series two will have a lot of other characters. Like, I didn't see any Arya Bates. Didn't see any Joffrey Bates. We had Melisandre, Sansa, Tyrion, Samwell, Littlefinger, I think. Daenerys, of course. Some other Lannisters. All right, box number three, three, two, nine, eight. The plates also make a puzzle. And we saw a black plate earlier, so we know that there's four of every plate. So you can have, if you really wanted to, You could have four puzzle plates of all nine. If you wanted to hurt yourself in such way, you could have 36 plates. Just go for it, YOLO. We have inflections, all hail brand the broken. We have Silver Inflections. Euron Greyjoy earns his queen. 15 of 75. Isn't that always how it goes, Acorn? We have John Bradley as Samwell. Regular autograph. And beheaded by Dario inscription, Reese Noy as Masador. Hey, thank you, Keith. We have Metal Tyrion. Marin, laser cut. 
Jordan just subscribed. Thank you, Jordan. We have copper. 23 of 199. And our battles insert. On to our next box. 16,311 out of 18,000. Well, Joshua, there's like 80 Amelias in the entire product, so. I was hoping we'd find one today, but definitely a very rare pull. We have Battle of Winterfell, Inflections, we have a Red, 15 of 50, Inscription, What is Dead May Never Die. Gemma Wellen as Yara Greyjoy. It's in lots of different inscriptions from her today. We have Amrita Acharya. It is known. Inscription as Eerie. That's a good point, huge margin. I mean, there could... You could only have puzzles to the amount of the red, so you could have up to 50. Complete. Kyburn Metal. We have Loris, laser cut. We have a copper, 41 of 199. Then we have our battles insert of the box. All right, I'm gonna put this base for Arnie on the bottom shelf. And it's still a chunk of our base up here on the top shelf. Do you have another Night's Watch? So out of six cases, we had five Night's Watch, one House Stark. All right, box number five, 8,522. Inflections, John reveals a secret to his siblings. Gold, 62 of 99. Julian Glover, inscription. As Grandmaster Picel. Got 
Tiny knife, the tiniest knife is trying to escape. We have Jon Snow metal. And Ben Crompton, the Long Night inscription as Edison Tullet. Mance laser cut. Another copper, Tyrion. 54 of 199. And our battles insert. All right, here we go. Next box, 1368. make a puzzle. We have Nicolaj Auto for our first auto of this box as Jamie Lannister. Jamie Lannister Auto. Alexander inscription as leaf. Gren laser cut. Tyrion, copper, 162 of 199. Battles insert. Samwell medal. Inflections. Jorah defends his queen till the end. And red. 21 of 50. All right, 3301 on this next box. Bye, Bounty Honor. Jon Snow learns his true ancestry in Flexions. Gold Torment, four of ninety-nine. Hey, Blast Zone Mike, welcome. Dual Auto, Paul Ratray and Ewan Ran. Harald Karstark and Ramsey Bolton, Dual Auto. In 
inscription, Brigitte. I hate thens. As Carsey. Mira, laser cut. E.T. Justin asks, how much are these boxes? We have them at $144.99 on our website. I believe retail is $150. So a little under. Cersei, metal. We have copper, $180 of $199. We have our battles insert. All right, on to box number eight of the case. Haven't found a relic yet. In the other cases, we did find one relic per case. All right, here we go. This is 10375. Daenerys destroys King's Landing in Flections. We do have a relic here in this pack. Does not seem to be autoed, but we do we, who do we have? We have another Jon Snow relic. You'll be ruling over a graveyard if we don't defeat the Night King. That is QC3. There's our relic of the case, Jon Snow. We have Indira Varma. As Alaria Sand, inscription. I believe she was cast for the Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus TV show. Not sure if that was a rumor or confirmed, but I remember hearing it. Then we have Joseph Alton, Winter is Coming, as Pipar. Grey Worm, Metal. High Sparrow. Laser cut. Acorn says that's been confirmed. Cool to know. Copper. 71 of 199. And Battles Insert. Two boxes left for Arnie. This one is 17660. Uh, never cold, you answered your own question. You have the reds out of 50 and you have the plates for lowest parallels. Melisandre reaffirms Arya's destiny. 
a dollar welcome gold samwell 69 of 99 Conan Stevens, Game of Thrones inscription, as Gregor Clegane. And Toby Sebastian, Murdered by My Own Cousin inscription, as Tristane Martell. Ballon, laser cut, Rob Stark, metal, Brienne, copper out of one ninety nine. And our battles insert. All right, last box coming up here, number 15265. 15,265 here for Arnie. Let's see if we can finally get a sketch or an Amelia or both. That would be greatest box in the product, I would think, if there's a sketch and Amelia in the same box. Let's see here, last box of the day. All right, let's go. Lock, laser cut. Acorn says maybe a sketch of Amelia. Do have a copper Amelia. 31 of 199, Daenerys copper. Battles insert. The base slid over a little bit. We have Egret Metal. We have John Murders Daenerys Inflections. Do you have a gold? John Snow learns how to fly. That is number 12 of 40. James Cosmo as Lord Commander Mormont autograph. And should have one last inscription in that final pack for Arnie. Let's see what we find. Do you have Dario? I should have been born a Dothraki. Huizman as Dario. That is our final auto here for Arnie. And Acorn says that one is 10 to 25 as well. I think that's the second 10 to 25 inscription we found in this case. So soon I will be free from the prison of this wig, but not yet. Of course, do have to do an end of case recap here for Arnie. Did find several low numbered parallels, including a one of one cyan printing plate and that gold inflections out of 40. We had the one gold, Jon Snow learns how to fly, 12 of 40. And the silver, Greyjoy earns his queen out of 75. 
Also did find that cyan Tyrion printing plates. Card number 25. Did also have a relic in the case, Jon Snow. QC3. Our case topper was the Night's Watch. Did find five of these and only one of the other case topper. Interesting. Not sure if just the odds were against us or one's a little short printed. Also, the case only had one dual auto, but not a bad one. Was Harald Karstark and Ramsey Bolton. Dual auto. For our regular autos, had James Cosmo. We also had Jamie Lannister, Samuel Tarly, and Joel Fry as Lorak. And for our inscription autos, yeah, but those are inserts never called. The base have the the base, the copper, the gold, the red, and then the plates. And then Clueless asks, you might have already answered this question, but have you watched the series or read the books? I have not. I have not. And panning through all of our inscriptions. Did have an Indira Varma. And our first auto of the case was Jack Gleason as King Joffrey. That does it for this case here for Arnie. Thank you so much, Arnie, for letting me open up one case for you. Arnie is also having us ship him a case. So hopefully you let me know what you find in that case. Did not find any sketches or Amelia's today. So hopefully you have one hiding in those boxes. And actually, before I forget, let's also go over. Did have three golds and three reds in this case. Golds out of 99 and reds are out of 50. So interesting that we found the same amounts. I think we were finding two and four in our other cases, but we did have the same amount here in these. Then may as well pan through. Did have bronze Danny, copper Danny, orange. Checklist says copper, but I still see orange. Now that will do it here for this case for Arnie. But again, Arnie, thank you so much for letting me open up a case for you. Unfortunately, did not pull you an Amelia or a sketch, but we haven't found one at all today. So like I said, maybe have one hiding in that case that we'll be mailing out to you. That does it for today's stream. I'm sure I look horrible, but let me unsnap anyways. Yeah, that's oily. Look, my hair is coming out. Ah, but soon I'll be free from this prison of this wig. So our openings are done for the day. Of course, I will be going through sorting everything. Bossman will be pricing everything out and I'll be getting as much as possible listed on our eBay shop. So in those first five cases, if you saw anything that interests you, eBay link in this description if you want to go ahead and check out those products. Like I said, later tonight, probably get started with the listings by the time I get pictures and stuff, probably starting close to close to seven by the time that's all ready to go. But make sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in any of those singles. And of course, we do have more boxes available for personal breaks listed on our website. Link also in the description down below. But that will do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed Niv dropping by at the beginning of the stream. Hope you enjoyed the opening. And that you had a great time. If you did on YouTube enjoy the stream, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button before you head out. Unfortunately, there's no like button or anything like that on Twitch. But hope you all enjoyed it anyway. Steven says, great job, Allie. Enjoy the rest of your wig-free day. Thank you, thank you. And Dusty says, awesome job, Allie. See you next time. Never Cold says, thanks, Allie. You're a well of information. Hey, I try. I try my best. Don't know everything, but I try. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hope you all had a wonderful stream. And I am a little bit pressed for time, so I'll go ahead and wrap this on up. But thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care. And of course, I'll be back on Friday, um, probably Thursday night as well. We'll have Modern Horizons 2 openings and, of course, brand new Pokemon Chilling Rain. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Do, do, do. Ramrod is now falling. Thank you, Ramrod. Tiffany says, yeet the wig. Yeah. But hey, Twitch, we're, we're chilling. Waiting to see how long it takes for YouTube to catch up. Do, do, do. Kurt Trapp says, thanks, Sally. Great stream. Thank you. YouTube is super blind. Wow. Hey, Ramrod. Is YouTube like a minute behind?
Steven says it's pretty far. Just sometimes it cuts immediately when I hit the button. Sometimes.